Hey guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be talking about JLC PCB 3D printing service. So let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back. I just want to say Happy New Year. Um, this year, I'm going to be doing my best to be making a couple of videos for you guys, and this is the first of the year. Um, this uh, 3D printing company, they also do CNC um, parts for you. You basically upload your file, choose the material you want it out of, and then they print it and then ship it to you. So it's super easy. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that here on the computer in a second. Um, but I just wanted to mention that this company uh, is very easy to work with. Um, if you have problems with your files, your printer files, uh, they let you know. Um, and it's super easy just to upload them on there, select your material and then get it shipped to you. It's also uh, not very expensive. There are some coupons out there, um, but we'll talk about that here after I show you guys the parts that I received. Uh, so let's go onto the computer. I'm gonna show you guys how you can order your own, super easy, and then we can talk about the prints. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to this JLCPCB, and you're gonna wanna go to sign in. Now I'm already signed in, I just used my Google account. Um, and then just click on their logo over here on the left, and this will take you to, um, what you're looking for so i'm going to go and scroll on the side here for 3d printing so you gotta go to quote now and all you do is go to add 3d file or you can drag one in there i have my 3d files here so let's just grab one of them that i've used so we just drag it in there um sometimes it's a little funky with the file support um, so I'm just going to keep trying until I get one. So once you have one in there that's, it accepts, um, it'll just look like this. Uh, and if it's not working, you can open your file in Mesh Mixer and then just export it again as an STL. So as I was talking about your different, uh, materials. So we have SLS, which is nylon, FDM, which is plastic. SLM, which is metal, which is what I had chosen, and then you also have SLA, which is resin, um, and then MJF, which is nylon. So I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between these two nylon here, um, but again, I chose metal, and your options will change down here um, when you choose your material. So if I choose nylon for this one, um, it'll ask me which nylon I would like. Again, I'm not really sure what the difference is, and then you can color it, which it looks like just black. So if we do metal, what I did, um, you have one option. I guess they are stainless steel. Um, and then I'm not exactly sure what the 72 hours means. Uh, but as you can see, my this will cost me $13.54. Um, and then you have to choose one of these. I'm not sure why. But it will generate your price down here. Now sometimes if they do um, calculate the weight over here on the right side incorrectly, they will send you an email and then your price will change. So again, the weight of your design and the um, amount of material it will use is how you figure out the cost. So all you got to do now is go to save to cart. It'll go added to your cart, and you can go approve or view cart. And then you can do secure checkout. Then you, uh, you have all your shipping information, um, and then you check out from here. As you can see, shipping, however, costs $18, so it's better to um, order multiple pieces, and, that, and then it will be cheaper for shipping. Uh, so it will be $31 for this brand. Um, and then again, you can use the coupon if you use the link down below in the description. Um, and that is how you order your files. So, like I mentioned, they also have other uh, resources here. They have um, assembly for PCB boards, they have CNC machining, um, different parts, and uh, SMT stencils. So, these are all different, but they um, 
if you have any questions for them, you can email them. Hopefully, I'll be trying out the CNC machining parts next, um, but I think the, the 3D printing um, in different materials is pretty cool. So the prints that I received are metal prints. Now, you guys will see here in a second when I uh, take you to the shop to use the prints. Um, but I chose metal because I wanted to have my own little branding iron for making cutting boards, um, putting the, the brand on the side of a board instead of the top with my laser. Uh, but again, you can use a lot of material. They have a lot of materials to choose from, from um, nylon to uh, resin-like material. And then again, this heavy duty metal, which is really cool. I've never actually tried uh, a printing service before. Um, and I have seen like Evan and Caitlin here on YouTube. They also use a printing company. I think it was Shapeways or something like that, uh, where they printed uh, metal jewelry. So you can, you really just design your uh, file that you want to print and then upload it. And they'll tell you how much it costs due to the amount of volume it has. And again, depending on your material that you choose. So there are some coupons um, available. And right now there's a 60, uh, up to $60 off of, I think it's a minimum of 30 cents. So usually uh, it's very reasonable. I think the minimum price is like $7, depending on how much, uh, how, or how big you order, how big of a item you order. Um, and I believe mine were arranged from $8 to $20, depending on how big they were. But again, they were metal, so they were a little bit more expensive. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys how I use these metal prints here in the next clip. And then we'll talk about the company a little bit more at the end. So what my pieces look like are this. As you can see, I have already tested out uh, the brand, but this is what it looks like when you receive it. This is the metal. I'm not exactly sure what metal they are using, but it is heat resistant. As you can see, it just turns a little brown. So this is what my prints looked like. I designed them exactly just like this. Uh, and this is my logo. Unfortunately, I forgot to mirror this uh, part of my logo. So if you're going to be doing what I'm doing with these prints, definitely don't forget to mirror it. So I designed these so that I could put a screw in here. Unfortunately, um, this one I haven't found a screw to fit yet, but these two I have, and this is the little T. Again, it's not mirrored, but it, it still works as a brand. So if I would order some more again, I would definitely need to mirror them. But this one is of course mirrored, and I'm gonna show you guys just how uh, well these work as a brand. It's super cool because I've always wanted a little tiny brand to be able to uh, you know, brand the side of my material instead of the top. For example, for cutting boards, I'd like the side uh, logo. Um, so all you need is a blowtorch here. Uh, I just got this off Amazon. And then I'm just going to use some players to hold on to this. And these do take a while to heat up, uh, which is unfortunate. But then again, we're just using a blowtorch. If you had a fire going, you could stick it in the fire. Um, but we're just going to heat it up here. And then I will show you guys how I brand this piece of wood. So I just used the blowtorch on it. Now I'm going to see if it's hot enough to brand. So I just held on there for a couple seconds. And as you can see, it turned out really nice. Um, I'm gonna do it again on the side and hold it for less and see if it brings me more detail. So as you can see, it kind of cooled down. Uh, so they do cool pretty fast, but if you have some way to attach this to a um, soldering iron or something that has consistent heat to it, it definitely will work pretty well. But as you can see, it it for sure did what I needed it to. And now I'm gonna actually just sand this a little bit and see if I can see some more detail. So I sanded it a little bit and you can still see the detail of the T. Um, it's just not super visible unless you're looking at it real close. But you can play around with uh, the time, amount of time that you use the blowtorch. I use it for about a minute on this little one. Um, so now I'm gonna test out the larger one for you guys and just show you what this looks like. So as you can see, I did get one uh, to work, 
But on these other three, this one was cooled down after I did this. And then these two weren't hot enough. So with a bigger uh, piece like this, you definitely have to heat it up a lot, which is why I recommended a fire. But again, these are mostly for doing side engravings of uh, boards or projects that I make. Now I have a laser, as you guys know, um, and I usually do surface engravings with that. But for something this small, um, on this side of, say, a cutting board, I would need to use one of these brands for it. So that's my main use for these metal prints. Um, but again, you can use this uh, printing company uh, to print any type of material and any of your designs. All right, so those were my prints. Uh, they work pretty well. Again, you just have to kind of finick with it, like with your uh, blowtorch. Uh, I've never done this before. I've never ordered a brand before. I know you can order attachments to a um, actual branding iron like stick, kind of like a soldering iron. Um, and you can do that on Etsy, but I really just wanted to try do my own here with the blowtorch and then the printed file. So they make it really easy to order your own and printing a metal piece if you needed uh, something custom and you designed it, but you don't have a metal printer at home. This is super easy to use and um, shipping does take a little while, uh, but it is worth it for sure. I've never had a metal print before, so it's super cool. And again, when you upload your file, like my designs were super, super tiny. So it does throw you an error and uh, says that it might be too skinny and there might be some faulty design in your file. But the designs turn out pretty well, even though they're really small and they worked for what I needed. So. Um, just keep that in mind if you're doing something super thin, like the outline of my logo was super thin, uh, but it worked. If you guys have any questions about this company, um, let me know down below. If you're having a problem ordering something, let me know. I will definitely help you out. They're very uh, easy to talk to their customer service. And I want to thank them again for allowing me to work with them as a company and printing uh, these metal pieces for me. So go check out the links down below for that $60 or save up to $60 on your prints. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.